uh, you know, to out rebound a team that pretty much is where they get the bulk of their scoring and to fall short, you know, was uh, is a, a tough one to, to swallow right now. You know, Delaware came in here trying to do what they did and we did a, had a great night on that end of the floor, I believe, back with the W. Well, Coach, before the game, you said you didn't want to be three happy. Um, you shot one for 21 from the three point range. Just what was going on with that shot tonight? Uh, the few times that, well, obviously Kelly getting back in the lineup, there's a few times, I mean, when, when she had the green light, you know, and there was a couple of them that were normally in her family, and so I think that added a couple extra ones off of the 14 to 18 we've been taking. So, you know, that, that probably is a, a little bit on me. I wasn't uh, putting reins on her a little bit as she was getting back, and at that point we needed some time to score. But we weren't moving the ball well enough to, to make the zone work a little bit. You know, their two bigs were coming off, you know, coming up as you had, you had, you had 24, uh, Joy, and then you had Hannah on the other side that we can attack, and we kept going middle. We weren't finding gaps. We were a little shaky. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, we were just really struggling from the outside. I mean, we came in here and did everything we needed to do that we planned working on all week long on the defensive end. So I think that's why this one uh, stings a, little, uh, a lot. Ruth, you got a career high. You were very aggressive under the boards, especially at the latter portion of the first half. What was your mindset uh, during that first half when you really started to turn things on? Um, honestly, we decided that we had to win the rebound again tonight, and that was one of the main focuses all week when we talked about Delaware. So I just went out there and did what Coach needed me to do. Did you feel um, in the second half when Anman Yuka really started contributing to the scoring, did that ease some of the pressure off of you, did you feel it? Um, yes, because um, Ao is a normal contributor, so it helped out a lot, and I just you know continued to stay aggressive and did what I had to do to help. Now, Coach, um, you... Kelsey Buchanan yeah. was eight points on three or ten shooting. She leads the conference in scoring. Um, I know it's difficult because it's a loss, but do you feel good about how you defended her? Well, 100%. She had two points at half. I mean, our whole game plan all week was to obviously sink in the paint, you know, make other people hurt us, and, and the ones that did hurt us a little bit still shouldn't have been enough to, to win the ball game. And that's the way you know the way you look at it. You know, when we were playing against Northeastern last week, Elise Marks. Um, we contained her and Tussle had a little bit more points. Now this was the opposite because we knew where the more the points come from. Um, you know, her and 24 have just been killing it inside. And so I think that it, it's just, uh, you know, very proud of that effort, but we don't have, you know, anything to, uh, to show for it. At the very end of the game, you had some great defense on the inbound play with Delaware when they had those consecutive inbounds and you kept stopping them. And then they kept missing their foul shots. What was going on in the last two minutes of the game or so when they gave you some opportunities? Yeah, I mean, we were obviously just trying to do whatever we could to do. cut it, you know. And uh, I mean, we were in a position that we were really behind at that point, so we didn't have enough time left. You know, we, we just didn't get enough uh, guard play that we needed to. I think people were second guessing a little bit too much. And, you know, we kept the effort going in the first half. We kept the effort going for the most point, And then we, we missed a, a gimme layup and got a foul. And then it took us like nine minutes, you know, to to get back going again. And that, that type of deficit, that lack of leadership on the floor, is what is absolutely crippling us. You know, somebody has to, you know, grab the jerseys and be on the floor and say, get over it and go. And, and it happens to us in stretches. This is not the first time Northeastern this little demise has been has been creeping. And it's been there. You can't get in your own head, get in your own way, um, and it really affects any young team. It really affects everyone. And, and that, that missed layup, you know, you can always go back and pick one point, that missed layup and then a foul, and then, you know, it was a little bit of doom and gloom, and then we pick ourselves back up, and then it's too late. And then it's a, too late. You have a quick turnaround against Drexel now on Sunday, senior day. Are either of you looking to change anything with the team in the short time? Well, they need to get shots up, so I think the captains were talking about that. They need to go, you know, get their headsets on, the gym is open. Um, so a quick turnaround, but they, they need to they need to go do whatever they need to do psychologically to to get themselves into a, a position. And you know our defensive scheme will be obviously a little bit different. Quick turnaround, but we know what we need to do against Drexel. And um, you know we, again we just got to uh, this part this parts with you know really a, a lot on, on each team member. And they had some good stuff they were talking about in the locker room. And that's one thing I can say about this team. They you know, I walk in there, they do a lot of talking about where they need to be, and now they just need to, they need to do it, though. You know, freshmen are no longer freshmen now, right? There's many games in, sophomores are no longer sophomores. You keep making the same mistakes, you keep doing the same thing. Um, you know, and, and a good point is you're going to take these kind of shots, you need to get in the gym. You need to get in the gym, you know.